Hey guys, this is Mr. Freaky Hero, and today I'm bringing you a video on why you shouldn't worry about your grade le your grade letter for MGO. Now, the one issue I've been seeing flitting around on Reddit on Reddit forums is the fact that you can't join a survival match or do a survival match if you don't have a good grade letter. Now, grade letters are based on how good you are when you're doing auto match, and they go up the better you've done in score. So, if you have an A score or an S score, that means you play the objective and you've been topping the scores, topping the leaderboards as usual. The only problem with this is the fact that it's not easy to up to increase your grade letter from F or E to a decent level of D. Most survival team members want a grade level of people that has D to S. If you don't have a D or S, there's not a 100% chance that you'll get a chance to play in survival. The only chance you'll play survival is if you play with a group of people that will allow you to join them or if you form a team of your own and join. Now you shouldn't really worry about this because in survival, survival is not something to be that over the moon over about. At the moment you play survival, you play at least 4 to 5 matches, you get GP and you get a unique colour and that's kind of it. The problem with this is the fact that unique colours are like I said unique but that's kind of it. For each clothing you get, you get a unique colour. And then with the added GP to it, it's a nice little bonus. The only problem with this nice, this nice bonus with the GP is the fact that if you use your GP on all the colours you use for your uniform, that's it. And no one wants to have GP be used just for colours, for uniforms. That's why ideally, survival at the moment is not in a great state. And that's why on PlayStation 4, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on Xbox One, or Xbox 360, or PS3, how survival is. At the moment, it's survival's not that great, and it's not that filled up. At times, you may be lucky, you may get a full lobby, you may get a two-page lobby, but at most time, you'll get maybe just one lobby, at most, because there's nothing there that's getting people interested in. And especially when we had the issue of the Mao Maojing players, that really put players off. So, how can we fix this? Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cover it at, in this video at the moment because. This video is going to focus on basically your grade letter. But if we were going to try and fix the issue, we would definitely need to improve the rewards. Ideally, the rewards at the moment are colours and GP. So what we need is more what we need is more usage for our GP or allow us to transfer transform our GP into MB coins. Now I don't see that last idea being ever made true because if I if that ever did happen. Konami is either desperately trying to get players to play more of the game or they're pretty much shooting themselves in the foot. So survival just needs a lot of things. It just it doesn't need to be revamped, but it just needs better rewards. Something that gives players the bet give players the chance to actually play the game and be happy with what they got. Something like a, maybe like a unique uniform from survival. But if players want to get it from say mob base coins, they'll have to pay a high amount of mob base coins. For prime example, we could put in like the Ocelot um, self-esteem team uniform. That could be a survival reward one day. And if you get the uniform, you get it completely free. But if you were to purchase it on the store, it would cost maybe 800 mother base coins. So that's, that's just a prime example. I wouldn't really put it out to 800. But that's a prime example. It gives something that players have a choice of either getting the, getting the, um, the prize either from playing survival or getting it from just purchasing it. Give, give us a choice, give us something. But at the moment you should never really worry about your grey letter. If you're based E or F, there's nothing really to worry about because you're not really getting anything by that. Oh, you may get more people that are actually to join a team and play survival, but that's 50-50. And playing automat is not is one of the two ways of increasing your grade. The only problem with automat is that automat only gives you a small bonus or increasement when it comes down to increasing your grade. And it can take a lot to increase your grade, honestly. You can be E rank, and if you're in a lobby with F ranks, if you lose against someone that's um, lower than you, there's a chance that you'll lose your grade. And that's why you need to have more of a better chance to go up against someone that has maybe a D or A rank. If you could top the leaderboard up against someone that has A rank, you have a better chance of increasing your grade, but just a bit. So honestly, don't worry about it, but if you're the type of person that wants to get in a competitive part of the game, 
you and you're the type of person that wants to get unique colors and more GP for whatever odd reason, then by all means play auto match or go onto Reddit or GameFAQs and see some players that would be happy to allow you to join them and increase your grade and play survival. But honestly, at the, at the moment, survival isn't all that great and the content at the moment is kind of dry. None of us know what Konami has in store for us and none of us know if we're ever actually going to get any more DLC. This honestly, this could be the last DLC for the game. That would be quite disappointing if that was the case. And I really do hope they have some kind of like expansion. I doubt expansion, but something big. Something that has a lot of content in for FOBs and MGL. Because I really do enjoy MGL and I really do enjoy FOBs. And, be, and it would be really sad to see this game just dry up and die. So that's just my point of view of not worrying about your grade. I hope you do understand as well why you shouldn't really worry about it. Just enjoy the game, just play how you want to play. Don't worry about whatever anyone else says because obviously grey lettering can be a blessing and a pain but honestly just enjoy the game as MGO is going to be here for quite a while to make good use of it. So if you enjoyed the video leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment and even share the video. Let's try to get this video out there and get some more players into MGO because honestly I really hate to see, I really hate to see this game die anytime soon. So I'll see you again soon.